Baby Talk with Dogs Recent research shows adult dogs, not just puppies, prefer high-pitched rhythmic dog-relevant words, which help to get their attention and improve bonding. I was happy to learn about this because it has practical applications. People ask me all the time why they and others naturally use baby talk with their dogs, such as when saying, You're a good dog, or I love you so much. Now I can tell them there are good reasons, even if they don't know why. If using baby talk can help with bonding and socializing, then all people who live and work with dogs, including veterinarians and shelter employees, can use it freely. It's a win-win for all. Back arching, a.k.a. kyphosis. Dogs arch their backs for different reasons in different contexts. It can be an indicator of gastrointestinal problems or pain in the spine. A dog might simply be stretching, or a dog might be trying to increase their apparent size when threatened. Bad Dog Day When his dog seemed off, a friend of mine would say he was having a bad dog day. However, I wonder if the dog might have been reading my friend and knew that something was wrong, and so he mirrored his human's feelings. Dogs read and smell us well, using a composite signal made up of visual, auditory, and olfactory cues. When dogs see angry human faces, they lick their mouths, which might clue us in that we are angry, perhaps without our knowing this. I also often wonder if, when a dog is having a bad dog day, they can get over it by anticipating what's going to happen later on, like going on a walk or meeting their friends. See also Composite Signals, Lip Licking.